and welcome to Cooking with Carlina. On today's Christmas episode, we're gonna be making my mom's boneless chuck roast. And guess who's here? It's my mom! Let's get started. For the boneless chuck roast recipe, you will need two to three pounds of beef, one tablespoon of seasoning salt, one tablespoon of garlic, one tablespoon of curry powder, one teaspoon of crushed red pepper, a half a cup of chopped celery, one cup of chopped onions, one third cup of chopped red, green, and yellow bell peppers, a quarter cup of barbecue sauce, and a quarter cup of water. All right, mom, so show them what we're making. We're gonna start with the boneless chuck roast. Make sure you make sure it has as less fat as possible. Talk to your butcher. They're great with directing you where you need to go. So what we're gonna do here, and uh, we have all the spices laid out. We're gonna start off with about two pounds. Mm -hmm. Okay, then we have the garlic. We're gonna put this all in a bowl. All right, okay, we're gonna put it in. Okay. Take that away. We're gonna add the garlic. We're gonna add curry. Ooh, curry's good. Yes, that's that's my my thing. You know, coming from the islands, we love our curry. Exactly. Then we have crushed peppers as well as salt. We're okay. gonna put that on there. Uh -huh. We're gonna put this all over here. Put that in. Make sure it's all seasoned well. Make sure you get both sides. Both Eat sides, slowly, people. Make sure you do that. Then we have a cup of chopped onions. And we're gonna add the chopped celery. They should be chopped real fine in that, but you know, your soup chef is only as good as they are. And then what we're gonna do, <laughs> here's Carlina. <laughs> okay, now that we have this all set in here, what we're gonna do is, we're gonna let this marinate overnight. Okay. And here's what I suggest you do. To keep the smell from uh, going all through your refrigerator, put it in. A Ziploc bag. See, so put it all in. I hope you there. Right. Hold the bag. Get all your seasonings and everything else. Just put that out there. Seal your bag really good. Get all the air bubbles out. The air bubbles out. There we go. Okay, and then ready. You can put this in the refrigerator and let it marinate overnight. Okay. okay. We've already done that. Get that all ready to go. Okay. I'll move this one down. Okay, so you have it all ready now. This Which has been marinated for overnight, so okay. probably like eight hours, eight, nine hours. That's correct. So what you do now, you go ahead and you lay down your pan, see the juices, look at that. Oh my gosh, all night. That's a good part. You add those juices on. See, make sure you have all your onions and everything else in there. Oh, doesn't that look pretty? Mm -hmm. That is awesome. Okay, but what you also add at this point, after you've done that, okay. now we're gonna add the peppers, because we didn't want the peppers to get too um, soft. Yeah, exactly. You know what I mean? So, and the thing is about Christmas time is you like cooking with mm -hmm. other people. So, we're gonna just um, have, you know, Carlina likes to cook with me too, sometimes. Sometimes. <laughs> but I like cooking with her. Aww, and you guys like when she cooks with me too. So you guys have requested her to come back, and she's back. So I do read your comments. <laughs> okay, look at this. So we got the different colors. Oh, I love the red. I love the yellow. I love the green. Does that sound Christmassy? It does sound very Christmassy. Christmassy, yeah. So you got a third of each. The red, the green, and the yellow. You got it all set and ready to go. Your oven has been heating at 350 degrees. Yes. At this point, what we're gonna do is we're gonna go ahead and cover this down. We're gonna go ahead and let this cook in the oven and bake for two hours. Really good, you guys. All right. Oh, 
So here's what we're gonna do. I'm gonna show you how this is. Mm -hmm. Okay, you take it out. And the thing about the roast is this, I mean, it is so nice and tender and soft. You can use a regular so knife, a regular knife to cut my soft steak. But okay, before we serve this, what we're going to then do, who's going to make the gravy to go with this? So we're going to go ahead and add the, oh, look at that. Oh my God. See, you got all your flavoring and everything from the garlic and the celery and the curry. You're gonna add in some more water in there. Um, and here is the barbecue sauce that you're gonna add to that. You're gonna stir that in. Let that simmer for about 10 minutes. I'm stirring it so that it doesn't stick. Look at that, isn't that pretty? And look at your colors. You got your red, you have your green, you have your yellow peppers, your celery. Everything is so beautiful. And the smell. Oh, the smell. And this is the gravy that you're going to put on top of that wonderful boneless chuck roast. All right, our gravy is ready. We're ready to go. Look at this. All Ooh. right. I plated this. We uh, have the beef on the plate, and now we're gonna just oh. add that gravy to it. And look at that. And just add some of the, the, pepper. the fresh peppers what? Uh, to it. And look at that. Look at that. Oh. So good. The roast is good. All right, Mom. And we also have a final look, as always, to play with the salad. And then you can also add some fresh peppers to it as well. Bon Appetit. All right. And you have your chuck roast, your curried boneless chuck roast because it has that island flavor to it that we enjoy. And you'll enjoy your Christmas. For this recipe and more of my other recipes, go to my website, www.cookingwithcarlina.com. I'll see you guys there. Merry Christmas and enjoy your chuck roast. Chuck Rose. <laughs> <laughs>